Sergio Perez has a lot to worry about next season. He did okay this time around. We mean he could have come second. He did have the best car on the grid, and he really can't mess it up this year. Anyway, in today's video, we're going to talk about how Helmet Marco doesn't think Sergio has a lot to worry about. So make sure to stay until the end of the video to learn all about it. First up, Helmet Marco plays down the threat. So according to Helmet Marco, the bloke who happens to be an advisor to Red Bull, Sergio has nothing to worry about. He stated that Daniel Ricciardo wasn't signed to put pressure on the Mexican, but here's the thing. Danny Rick is an awesome driver. Sure, the past few seasons weren't so great, but we all know how talented that guy is. And the fact is, he could have had a seat on the grid this year. Haas was interested in him, but he didn't want that. No, for him, it was either he goes to a good team or he doesn't race at all. So he decided to go back to his old team, Red Bull. This time around, he's going as their third driver. Funny how things happen at certain times, ain't it? He left the Austrian outfit because he didn't want to be demoted to the second driver, but ended up coming back without a racing seat at all. Good thing Christian Horner is a nice guy. Well, debatable. Otherwise, this would have been extremely satisfying for the Red Bull boss. But anyway, we all know how good Danny Rick is, and this is exactly why Sergio Perez needs to be extremely careful this time around. If he messes this up, he could be replaced by by the Australian. And since Ricardo is already loved by so many fans and is a huge star on social media, Red Bull could quite literally be pressured by their supporters to give Danny a seat. But that's really not going to happen. Or at least that's not what Red Bull intends to do, according to Helmet Marco. Next up, what is going on? First, let's talk about Sergio's contract. He's contracted with the team until 2024. But as we've seen before, Red Bull can swap around drivers between their teams because Red Bull is the only team on the grid with four seats. And we already saw that with Albin and Gasly. So while Perez won't lose a seat, he might be demoted to AlphaTauri, while Ricardo gets the seat on the main team. Oh, and a fun fact, Danny Rick happens to be the product of the Red Bull Junior program, and between 2014 and 2018, he really made his mark on the grid. But despite all of that, Helmet states that he's not going to be brought back to pressure Perez. Because here's another thing we need to talk about, Perez's relationship with Verstappen. Wait, no, let us clarify. Perez's deteriorating relationship with Verstappen. By the end of the season, the so-called friendship between the two drivers really took a hit. Because for God knows whatever reason, Verstappen decided not to obey team orders, which is really weird, because Max had already won the championship by then. However, those points could have really meant something to Perez, because it could have helped him get second place. Yeah, we later found out that it wouldn't have mattered based on his result in Abu Dhabi, but we didn't know that during the race in Brazil. So this relationship is already under a lot of strain. Yet Helmet thinks that there's no possibility of Ricardo replacing Sergio, but but then again, that's kind of what the fans want. Up next, what did Helmet say? When asked whether Ricardo has been brought on to replace the Mexican, Marco stated, No, Sergio Perez has shown that he can ride at a very high level. If Max Verstappen is never there, Sergio will be. He won two races this year for a reason. So this clearly shows that the advisor has decided to support Sergio in this time of speculation. That's a good thing. But after all, he could just be doing this just to make sure Sergio's performance doesn't take a hit after losing out on all motivation. And as far as Daniel's duties are concerned, Christian Horner made it extremely clear. He stated that Ricardo's duties will be marketing, roadshows, and events this time around. Helmet Marco then reiterated these comments too. Horner mentioned that Red Bull has to remember that we are a great team. He also talked about how they have the largest number of sponsors on the grid. Hence, they seem to have a lot of commitments each year. And apparently, according to him, the person best fit for this job happens to be Daniel Ricardo. He mentions, who can do it better than Ricardo with his smile? He's not wrong though. Daniel does have an an awesome smile. Despite all that, it's important to remember that he still will be a reserve driver. So if there's a need, he'll be getting in the seat of the car to give it a go. But it's a role that he's going to be sharing with Liam Lawson. However, Marco has hinted that Daniel would be the priority driver if either of the drivers can't make it to a race. Moving on to Sergio's thoughts on the whole thing. Here's the thing, right? These rumors that are being thrown around after Ricardo's return aren't really a super good thing for Sergio Perez. Because let's be real here. Despite whatever helmet Marco said, it's Perez that stands to lose the most from this deal. Max isn't going anywhere unless he retires, but his contract is until 2028. So fans, pundits, and analysts, basically anyone in F1, have been throwing around theories about how this move could be a threat to Sergio's career. While Daniel Ricciardo is coming back as the third driver, folks all around are still really excited about the whole thing, and that means they're expecting him to be in a racing seat soon. And as we already mentioned, fans would choose Daniel over Sergio any day. See, the Honey Badger won't be racing, but he's still going to be hanging over Perez's shoulder, just waiting for him to make that one costly mistake that could lose him his seat. At the same time though, Sergio doesn't really need to be replaced. We feel it's just going to be the fans' pressure that's going to make folks want to see Daniel in 
a seat. As far as Sergio is concerned, while he failed to get second place, let's not forget that he also happened to be the second driver. So on some weekends, his points were not prioritized. On the other hand, Charles was pretty much the first driver. So Sergio is not really a bad driver. He's a good, solid, reliable guy, who's also pretty useful when it comes to following team orders. And this is exactly why Sergio Perez is not really worried about anything. Following up, Sergio does need to be a little worried. Ricardo had fun at Red Bull for four years. Back then, they weren't the all-out monstrosity that they are now. Yet, he ended up being one of the best overtakers on the grid and ended by racking up eight victories. And while, yes, Red Bull was coming out of four straight victories, the 2014 regulations made them quite useless, for lack of a better word. That's when Mercedes really started to dominate. Then, Ricardo made a name for himself and was able to get a really lucrative deal with Renault. We mean, he was paid a lot. But at the same time, there were rumors that he was actually forced out of the team because Verstappen was just too good that they started favoring him. And like, come on, have y'all seen Ricardo's personality? He would have never been okay with that. Of course, the four years since leaving Red Bull have humbled him quite a lot, but before that, he really knew his worth and wasn't gonna settle for the second driver, especially to someone as young as Max. Nonetheless, the problems have been dealt with, and Ricardo's back at this team, hoping to get a go at this again. Unfortunately for Perez, there's no way ever that Verstappen's gonna be fired, so he has a lot to worry about, yet he seems to be super relaxed. After all, it could be all mind games. Nothing is ever sure in Formula 1. Even recently, Ferrari kept us assuring that Mattia Bonotto would be staying as their principal, only to have him resign pretty quickly after that, so we don't know what the future's gonna be like. But let's hear out Perez. And now, let's talk about what Perez has to say. When talking to Sky Sports F1, Sergio Perez stated that he's pretty relaxed. He talked about how, as an F1 driver, he already lives under a lot of pressure. And the fact that we now have Daniel on the team doesn't really bother him. Because regardless of that, if he didn't perform well, he would have been replaced. He acknowledged that Daniel's presence is actually good for the team, since having someone like him is only going to benefit the team. Sergio also admitted that the Honey Badger will contribute a lot to the team. On top of that, the Mexican called Daniel a great guy, stating that the pair gets along really well. Perez also claims that it's overall a wonderful thing to have him here, and that his arrival to the Austrian outfit doesn't change anything for him. Sergio also talked about how he and Daniel started their careers at a similar time, hence they both know each other well and get along perfectly with each other. Well, that's good news, isn't it? We're happy to hear that Danny Rick's arrival makes Sergio excited. We really hope it works out for the both of them. But with just 20 drivers on the grid, the truth is that for one driver to win, the other has to lose. Oh, and an interesting fact. Earlier, Ricardo was linked to Alpine. Yeah, the team he so publicly left for McLaren. But they decided to go with Pierre Gasly. However, considering how Esteban Ocon treats his teammates, we're gonna say Danny dodged a bullet there. Let's see what the future holds for our favorite Aussie. And on that note, that's a wrap for today's video. Do you guys think that Daniel could end up replacing Sergio? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.